I don't know how everybody got to a different point kind of on the thing, all right? But what we were going to do is to make two frequency distributions, right? One for each class, class A and class B. And by the way, for those who weren't here, those are the actual grades for this class and the online class, you guys being A and the other class being B. And um, what we're doing is some comparisons of the, uh, of the numbers. I asked the class last time to do the calculate the, the mean, the median, right? If you didn't do the mode, do the mode too. This is great practice. Um, so, but we're, I also wanted to make a frequency distribution. Excuse me, actually, I'll do this. So, we would have a column with the scores, a column with the frequencies, right? So in other words, you'd list a score, and if somebody got an 80 in it, and five people got 80, you'd put a five there, right? Kind of a thing. And then we were going to do a uh, cumulative frequency column. We're not grouping the data. We're in writing each individual score, right? And uh, then we were going to do a percentage, a cumulative percentage. Right? And then we were going to get to the big humdinger at some point. I'll tell you that in a minute. We were going to calculate the range, the interquartile range, which is sometimes written this way. Right? The median, the mean. I don't think I told you to do the mode, but we'll do the mode anyway. Um, and once. Once we all get to that same place, then we're going to do the standard deviation, okay? Some people just came in, so if you didn't uh, stop by to pick up your work from last time, you, you need to do that because we're going to be working on the work that you did last time. And by the way, you're going to hand it in again to me, and that way I can see, you know, who's coming to class, who's not, and whatever. These are not graded other than for class participation purposes, as you know. So if you just came in and you... Uh, didn't collect your paper, or if you weren't here last time, you'll need the data set, okay? You didn't come, were you here last class? So you need the data set. So that you could begin to do your work. And for those of you who have done all those things, who have, who have uh, finished that part of it. And the next thing we're going to do is, it's a pain in the neck, but you're going to do it on a nice, neat table, right, on a separate sheet of paper. You're going to have 24 scores for Class A and 24 scores for Class B, right? You're going to know the mean for, for uh, each data set, right? And then you're going to subtract the mean from each score. Okay, so that... that I don't know if I have enough room here. I'll, I'll write it on the bottom here so I'll show you what it looks like. And it's going to be a similar in format to, um, let's see if we can find that in your book here. Yeah, similar in format to table 4.4 when you do this last part of it, right? So you're going you're gonna to have a column with the scores for... This is separate, okay? I'm gonna have a column with the scores, okay? Then you're gonna have a column with the score minus the mean, right? And then you're gonna have a, a column with the score minus the mean squared, okay? All right. Did you already do this part of it? Okay. The score minus the mean squared for each class, each class on a separate piece of paper, right? So your first part of the project is going to look like this. Uh, the second part of the project is going to look like this, okay?
careful and stay organized so when you list your 24 test scores for class A, right, you're going to add them up. You're going to divide that number by 24 and you'll get the mean. You may have already done that. You can take 24 items here where you're going to have the score minus the mean 24 times. And then you're going to have the answer to that, whatever answer you got, right, over here, squared 24 times. Do you not have the data set? Oh, here. Can I get one too? Just a pop out. You need one too? What happened? I can get it. So remember over here, if you're, if you're working on this first part, if 10 people got a 77, don't write 77 10 times. Write 77 with a frequency of 10. Okay? Fair enough? And please mark your calendars, especially for those who weren't here. February 23rd, I need to be in Chapel Hill for a meeting, so we won't be here, okay? February 23rd is a Friday, if I've got that right. Do I have it right? Okay. What's that? This has got nothing to do with intervals. We're not grouping the data. Thank you, Jasmine. We're just doing individual, okay? <coughs> We're not grouping the data at all. We're just listing each individual score, right?
This is just a little sample of, of Class A, okay, of what it should look, could look like, or should look like. I'm very, I looked at the scores. I actually wrote them from low to high. Probably should have written them the other way, but that's okay. Either way is fine. Um, and so one person got a 66, one got a 68, one got a 70, one got a 74, one got a 76, two got a 78, that kind of thing. We're not grouping the data. So who just came in? Are you Shantina? No, Martina. Martina. Martina Gorin. All right. So we're continuing our work today, okay? And and so you would keep going. And this is for class A, and you have 24 scores. You up to speed? Sir? Yes. Getting this under your belt is really going to help you on your next exam. Yeah, it's an extra copy of the um, class A. I keep, I keep shorting myself. 
Yeah, but I, I was an idiot and started marking through once I. Oh, yeah, well, let me do this for you because I can't print it. But here's what I say. Okay, that work. Okay. One through twenty-four. Sorry about that. No, that's. Has anybody gotten this far? In this column here? Four minus this square? Okay. Yes, Justin. What's up now? Um, well, the percentage would be um, the cumulative percentage of twenty-four. So one over one over twenty-four gives you divided by twenty-four. Okay. But listen, don't focus on that right now since you're at this point. Can you calculate the mean for all 24 scores for each class, right? And do the second part, because you're going to spend a lot of time by doing that right now, if that's where you're at. So if you take 24 scores for class A, 24 scores for class B, and calculate the mean, right? And then subtract the mean from each score. That's that second column. And then the third column is whatever answer you got, you square it, OK? OK, is that good enough?
example if you get that answer, right? One point one six that's that one's over six rounded to six. For this for the purposes of this, let's not let's just uh, round it to a whole number, okay? Oh you're rounding up. Let's not round. Let's not round. Let's just leave it at a whole number, right? So this would be eighty three. Okay? So if you get 83.1, whatever, make it 83. If you get 84 point six point something. If you already didn't, if you already carried it out two places, that's fine. All right? But if you didn't, you don't have to. And because we're not rounding, by the way, we're not going to get that zero at the bottom. Right? Yeah. Um, what is this? This is the scores for class A? Mm -hmm. And now you're doing class B? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know, to set the same chart for class B. This is the way you learn statistics, by the way, not just by reading the book, by actually doing it.
Since you're at this point, in the interest of time, let's, um, and, I, and I don't want to confuse you guys, but at the, in the interest of time, let's focus on the second half of, of what I wrote on that board, which is get the mean for sample A, class A, and get the mean for class B, right? And then subtract the mean from each score. No, the mean is the average. You add up all the scores and divide by 24, and you get the mean. Okay. All right. All right. So, so forget about this for now. See this under the double line there? Right. Right. I'll, let me explain. Just to save time, because we're not going to be able to keep doing this um, forever. But here's what I want you to focus on for the moment, if you don't mind, is uh, this part right here. Okay, so you write the scores, okay, in a mean, the score minus the mean, whatever answer you got, square it, put it there, right? And then what we're going to do after you do that is we're going to calculate the variance. Remember in the last class we said the variance was S squared, right? We're going to calculate the variance because we're going to add up the squared column and divide by 24, right? We're going to add up the squared column, take the average, right? Divide by 24. That'll give us the average, right? For that. Let's do that. Yes, Deja. In the XI column, on the second part, for the um, ones that are listed like three times, like if you have 78 three times, do you write 78 three times? For here? Yeah. Um, you can. I'm not as worried about you writing them there. I'm more worried about you calculating the mean. Yeah, just calculate the mean, okay? Um, you can write them if you have time, but I'm more interested in you calculating the mean so you could do the calculations. Thank you for that question. And so just as a reminder from the last class, this is the formula we're going to apply to this column, right? You're going to have each answer that you got squared, right? You may have to write all your numbers just to be orderly. You may not, right? And then you're going to have that column of all the, all the scores squared, all the differences squared. Add it up. That's what that means, right? The sum of these differences divided by n, it's going to give us s squared. Does anybody remember what s squared was called? Again, with a v, the variance, right?
Okay, in the interests of time, and um, I, I know this could be annoying to you because I'm not going to allow you to finish it right now, uh, but in the interests of time, I want to talk to you about a few things because I think most of you, I think some of you are in the dark, and that's not a good thing because you need to go back, you'll get more and more lost as, as the course progresses. But I think most of the people in the class are kind of understanding what to do even though it takes forever to do it, right? Um, so one of the focuses for us right now, as I said, was the score minus the mean, and you got an answer. Then you put it there, and you squared it, right? And then you applied this formula, the sum of the, of the scores minus the mean squared, added it up and divided by n, and you got a number, right? Did anybody get a number? By the way, I, I got all the numbers. Um, I had all the numbers in three seconds because I did the I did them a week ago on the computer, um, which isn't any fun for you guys. But uh, if I n had never done that, I wouldn't have known what the heck I was looking at here. So, did anybody calculate the variance for class A? Just curious. Anybody get that far? Nobody. Did you, Stacy? Maybe. Well, if you did it and you're not sure if it's right, that's okay. Just tell me. Uh, well, the variance is the one that's not squared. Uh, not, not uns you haven't taken the square root of it, excuse me. The variance is the first one. And they're all added together. Add them together and divide by n for class A. And what's important right now is that you understand what I am explaining to you, not necessarily the math. I know you all can do the math. You can add and divide. But what I'm explaining to you is that we took this column here, we added it up and divided by n, so we took an average of all of the differences that we got here squared. We took an average of that number, right? We took an average of that number. And for uh, class A, uh, I got a variance of 65.36. Right? And then when I took the square root of that number, I got a standard deviation of 8.09. I'm rounding a little bit. When I did class B, I got a variance of 721, and when I took the square root of that number, I got a standard deviation of 26.86. And remember, what this whole chapter is about is finding a statistic that tells us about how spread out numbers are, right? Variance here is 65-ish. Here it's 721. Uh, the standard deviation, which is the square root of those. And by the way, we do the standard. We take the square root, right, Be to get us back to, to, to relating to the original numbers we were working with. The only reason we squared the numbers, as the mathematicians told us, is to get rid of the negative sign so we could add them together. The, the mathematicians want to find a formula for dispersion that is an average of all of the differences from the mean. Well, to do that, to find that average, you've got to get rid of the negative signs, as we said in the last class. And then you add them all up. But now you've got a really huge number. You've got a number that's way bigger than the original test scores. That's why we unsquare it, OK, to get the average. So what? What could you tell me about the class if you just, if I said, hey, here, the standard deviation for the test scores for the classes were these, what could you conclude? <coughs> and the mean for class A is 83, and the mean for class B is 75. 
Okay. Could you tell, if you just saw these numbers here, would they be meaningful to you? Class A did better. Well, Class A did better. Great. That's true. They did a, a, a lot better. Um, what else could you tell me? I'm going to find another statistic. Can you tell me that the scores in Class B were big time spread out, weren't they? Weren't they? Very spread out. Um, so if the, uh, the mean was 83 over here, right? We're going to talk about this in the next chapter. But one standard deviation of the mean is only about eight points higher. For this class, one standard deviation above the mean is about 27 points higher, right? So that remember that example we did about the ambulance service with the curve, the picture of the curve that was scrunched up and flat and all that jazz, right? Well, the curve for class B would be a flat one, and the curve for class A would be more scrunched up, wouldn't it? Pointier kind of thing. All right, put your names on your papers, hand them in to me. Uh, I'll see you Monday. Remember, no class on February 23rd. And I think it's Friday, March 2nd. I'm planning on having an exam here in class, okay?